Hi, my name's Kim, and I'm going to show you today how to make scrapbook titles using pre-designed pictures in Design Space and doing a print and cut instead of the paper PC. Okay, I've already went through and I found some pool titles. So if you click on this one, swimming, if you look over here, you can see how many layers that you're going to have if you were going to do paper piecing on that. So the first thing we're going to look at, you see this blue around here? That's already got an offset on it, but when you cut it, it's going to cut around all of this stuff. So I don't really want that to do that. I'm going to highlight it, offset it, and you see the outline is going to show your offset, then apply. That's always going to be in black. You can go up here and change it to any color. I'm going to do white. And then also, if you want to change like this beach ball, you would click on the beach ball over here. Like here's part of the beach ball. You could click on that and then go over to here and change the colors up. And maybe make it blue. So you have, see I changed the colors of the beach ball. So you can change the color of any of the stuff in here just by clicking on it over here. There's the clouds, the shoes. So once you're satisfied with all the colors, go down here to this offset and hit the contour. We're just gonna hide all of those. All right, your next step, you're gonna highlight this and go over here and hit flatten. See how it changes? This is now a print and cut. Depending on your printer, my printer will only print 80 pound paper. So I want to make this a little bit sturdier than that. So I'm going to do another out offset and then I'm going to cut that with my cardstock. So you're going to go to offset and it automatically goes back to the number you were using. Apply. Okay. And personally, I like the black, but you can go up here and choose it to any color you want. Maybe a blue so it kind of looks like the sky. Okay. So what you're going to do is you see how this is all squiggly and it's a print and cut. You're gonna have to go in through here and change this back to a basic cut. And then you wanna hide all of those holes so the machine doesn't try to cut them out. Then you contour, hide all contours. Then you're gonna change this back to the color you want it, light blue. And we're gonna leave that as a basic cut because we want this to be a cardstock that once this comes out, we can glue it to it. And that just makes it a little bit more sturdy for you. And that's all you would do for all of these. Like see, if you cut this out, it's gonna cut these little ones separately. So you can offset, add another offset to it, apply, and then that'll keep everything connected click on the offset, make sure that there's no holes in it, hide all the contours, and then flatten. You see how it changes? This is how it's going to look. And then if you want to put an extra backing on there, you would offset it again. It's taking a little minute. You see the blue line so it's ready. And pull that down, Put that out of the way. Okay, since it was on the print and cut, you're gonna have to go back up here and change this to basic cut, and then go to the offset and remove all these holes. That's the wrong one, I'm on this offset. There it is, it's highlighted. Hit the contour. And then you wanna change, leave that on basic cut and put that back on there. So when you go to make it, let's get rid of these two. So when you go to make it, see these two are the print and cuts. And then you scroll down here and these are the ones that I didn't flatten. We're not gonna do any of those. So then you know you have it as your print and cut, and these we're not going to do. So I'm just going to hide that one, but it's the same concept. It's going to cut around all of these. So 
That's up to you if you want it that way and that looks fine to you. Just click on it and hit flatten and it'll change that to a print and cut. And then the computer will cut them out just like this. And then you'll have your titles. Of course, you can adjust the size and everything, how big you want them. Or if you want them to be stickers, you can make them smaller. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.